So I saw The Rise of Skywalker, and it was really bad. The Rise of Skywalker no! is a bad movie. I already forgot. I don't even know, man. It seems that everyone has gotten out the review. Everyone has had their turn to review The Rise of Skywalker. So now... It's my turn. So let's do it! Hey guys, welcome back to the Grand One channel and welcome back to our movie series where we review movies that we just go back from seeing, you suggest, or short films of ours. And today is a movie that I just go back from seeing. Well, I didn't really just go back and seeing it. I, well, we'll talk about this later, but it, it is a movie that I went to go see in theaters. Um, in this movie, it's definitely one of the most anticipated movies of the year, 2019 to be exact. Sorry. Um, the reviews are unfortunately pretty freaking bad. Um, it's the final movie in the saga. That movie is Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Well guys, it's finally here, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, the final movie in the Skywalker saga. And oh my god, the reviews for this film are like, amazingly bad. And what do I mean when I say that? Well, well it's pretty freaking obvious, like the reviews are terrible, they're awful, they're so mixed. Honestly, like, for example, Go on Rotten Tomatoes, you can see that has a very, very rotten 54% score. But audiences gave it an 86%, so I guess it's mixed, which is not good because this is the final movie in the Skywalker saga. The reviews should be amazing, but yeah, guys, it's weird on what this movie has become. But overall, guys, um, let's just get away from the other reviews. Let's just get into my review. So first and foremost for the review, what did I think of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker? Um... It's alright. It's okay. I'm sorry, but it's... It's not a great film. But it's not bad. It's just okay. I have a feeling... I had... I, feeling, sorry. I have a feeling that some Star Wars fans, hardcore Star Wars fans, will be like typing in the comments like, It's alright, what are you talking about? This film's awful! Go ahead. If you really feel like you, you should do that, then go ahead, I guess. I don't, I don't freaking care. Um, but... The film... It's not as bad as everyone says it is. It really isn't. But it's, I'm not saying that it's actually, it's like, it's the best movie I've ever seen. It's not. Not even close. But, it's not, yeah, it's not bad. It's just okay. It's a fine movie. It does have a bit of issues, but it's just okay. But, before we get into our issues, let's get into the positives. Pretty much everyone in this film does a really good job with their performances, especially Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver. Every time they're both on screen, they do a, like, a really, really good job, and I was impressed by both of their performances. And something I wasn't really expecting, I actually really enjoyed watching the lightsaber battles. Every time like Kylo Ren or Ray were like, battling, battling each other with a lightsaber, um, I actually enjoyed watching them. They were actually really cool to watch. I thought they were just going to be really boring and not like just stupid and stuff like that, but I actually enjoyed watching the lightsaber battles. That's just my opinion, guys. I really enjoyed the lightsaber battles in this film. Every time, they're like mainly when Kylo Ren and Rey are fighting um, with a lightsaber, they, it, was, it was really fun to watch. Um, they, it was really cool and very, it's surprisingly enjoyable. Um, and of course, the return of Palpatine. I mean, I'm sorry, I do have a really big issue with his return that I'll get into later in the issues. But I have to say, every time he was like recreating his very like iconic lines, like do it or the rebellion or stuff like that. Like, it was so funny to see him re recreate his lines. Like, I remember every, pretty much every time he talked, my brother Brody, who was sitting next to me while watching the film a second time, um... He kept freaking laughing. He wouldn't stop laughing every time he would talk or say his iconic lines like "Do it" or "The Rebellion" or stuff like that. He like he wouldn't stop laughing, and every it was so enjoyable to see that. And pretty much just watching him was cool. It was, it was he was actually he was actually kind of creepy at the start of the film. He was really he was kind of creepy, but but yeah, guys, I I didn't yeah the Palpatine was pretty funny. The Return of Palpatine, he was it was it was funny just to see him recreate his lines like "Do it," "The Rebellion," and stuff. And pretty much every time he talked, it was funny. Um. So, yeah. 
Guys, I'm just gonna admit it. Most of the CGI in this film looks amazing. Like, I, I, I can, I feels like an act, I can actually touch it. Like, this is something like, wow, I, I feels like I, I can actually maybe touch this. Like, the CGI looks awesome. I'm, that's all I'm just gonna say. The CGI is very impressive. It looks very real, or at least real enough. Is the CGI awesome all the time? No, not all the time. But it's overall, it most of the time, it's very, it's very awesome. It looks very gorgeous. So yeah, the CGI is pretty good. And the film does have some very enjoyable moments. Like this film's like, oh wow, this is actually really fun to watch. And there's there's, there's um some intense moments um that you're like, oh god, oh jeez, what the heck, oh my god. So yeah, there are there 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 are some enjoyable moments. There are some intense moments. Like oh no, what the what that's what's going to happen? Yeah, there are some of, there are moments like that. Well, sometimes. Um, but that's really all my positives for the Rise of Skywalker. Um, it, I I probably do have a bit more positives, but. Uh, I have to go into spoilers if I want to talk about more. So, but this is a spoiler-free review, so I don't really want to get into spoilers if I want to talk about more positives. I have to go into spoilers, but this is a spoiler-free review, so this is all I could talk about. So, without further ado, let's get into the issues. Now, before I did say that I had a big issue with the return of Palpatine, and that is that they never explain on how he's still alive. Because if you remember, um, Return of the Jedi, he, um, Darth Vader killed him, like, pretty good. Um, but somehow he survived. I, we, and it never explains on how he survived. He's just back. So, yeah, I didn't like that about Palpatine. They never explained. Um, but, yeah, they never, they, he just, he, he's back. He's back. Palpatine. The Emperor, sorry, I can't really pronounce his name right, um, but yeah, he's back. He's just back, okay? No explaining, doesn't explain how he's back, he's just, he's back. Deal with it. But yeah, guys, I just hate how they never explain on how Palpatine's still alive. But, I do want to talk about this one moment in the film. Um, it had something to do with a spy, and it was so dumb. Um, if you guys have seen the film, you might know what I'm talking about. It had something to do with a spy, and it was just so dumb. I, it was meant to be comedic, but I just found it really stupid. And, um, it had, yeah, it was stupid, and it was, it kind of made me cringe. Yeah, there was one moment with a spy, it was just dumb. Um, uh, but speaking of, like, comedy and comedic and stuff like that, uh, the comedy in this film is not, isn't, isn't really that funny. I mean, it's, it can be funny at some moments. Um, yes, it does have some, it does have some funny moments. It, I'm, I'm not saying the entire film ain't that funny. I, it does have, um, some very funny moments, but... Most of the comedy in this film is just your typical Marvel comedy, like, it's just Marvel comedy all over again, but except it's Star Wars. So, yeah, it's pretty much like Marvel comedy, but it's Star Wars, but, you know, this is made by Disney, so what would you expect? So, yeah, the comedy in this film, not a big fan of, because it's just kind of typical, and it's nothing different, and I just wasn't, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the comedy. It wasn't that, it wasn't that great. It was funny at some moment, they get a laugh out of me, but it was just, it was overall just very typical. To be honest, guys, I didn't really find the space battles to be that enjoyable. You know, every time there was this one space battle with Chewie, Poe, and Finn, and oh, I was kind of I, I ended up yawning at the at the scene. I just didn't enjoy it at all. Like, um, yeah, there were a lot of space battles where I just started yawning. I was like, oh god, just end, come on. Like, I'd prefer like, yeah, I did. I, I just I just really did not really enjoy the spaceship battles that much. I didn't really find them enjoyable to watch. And I'm sorry, but the spaceship battles I wasn't a big fan of. Sorry. And of course, one of my biggest issues with the film is the ending. Oh God, the ending! I'm so, the ending really annoyed me. Like, um, the final scene of the movie, it started off kind of, it started off kind of nice. Like, wow, this character is at this place. That's cool. Um, and then it ended with, um, and then it, when it ended, you're just like, oh God, why did it have to end like that? Why? No, that doesn't make any sense. No, why did it have to end like that? Oh. You just, it just ended with you being freaking annoyed. If you're a hardcore Star Wars fan, you know what I'm talking about. You've already seen the film. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. You, you're probably annoyed about the ending as well. Finding it annoying, you're like, why did that need to happen? Why did that character have to say that? And why did that character have to do that? I don't know. Just, you might have found, you probably would have found, um, found the ending very annoying and just disappointing. And it, it just, I don't know. The ending was, I wasn't a big fan of. I'm sorry. But when, when it ended, I was like, oh, really? Did that really need to happen? Really? Alright, well, I can't change anything, so that's the way it has to be. But yeah, guys, the ending, I wasn't a big fan of, and I'm assuming none of you were too. Especially hardcore Star Wars fans. Despite my issues, guys, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is an okay film. I wouldn't consider it the best conclusion to this to the saga. But it, it is what it is. It's This is what we got. And overall, I just considered this film an okay conclusion to this very, very iconic franchise. 
And I recommend you guys go see The Rise of Skywalker. If you're a hardcore Star Wars fan, then you have to go see it because you're a Star Wars fan. And this is a Star Wars movie. You have to go see the film. Um, but I don't know if you're really going to like it that much. If you're a normal movie lover, then if you and then that wants, wants to go see a film that's hopefully that you just want to go see a film and enjoy, then uh, no, I don't know. Go, don't go, you might have to go watch the other Star Wars films to not be confused. But yeah, guys, um, this is just an okay conclusion, and a uh, you might find some enjoyment out of it, and and yeah, um, you you might you I think you'll just find it okay. But Star Wars fans are probably gonna hate it a lot. But overall, it's just it's okay. Alrighty, guys, this is gonna be the end of my review of Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I'm over here now because my iPad needs charging and there's a charger right here, so I have to move the iPad here. Sorry. Um, but I have a big announcement. I am done with Star Wars reviews. There will be no more Star Wars reviews out of me, you know, because this is obviously the final movie in the saga. But if, if, if there's another Star Wars film out there that comes out in like a few years time, I am not reviewing it. I'm not going to be seeing another Star Wars film because I am done with Star Wars. I'm sorry guys, but this is just, this is my final Star Wars review. You know, I filmed, I filmed my review for Rogue One, uh, The Last Jedi, Force Awakens, and now The Rise of Skywalker. So yeah, I'm done with Star Wars. I'm sorry, but Star Wars, I'm just, ugh, I'm bored of Star Wars. Um... If I will only do another Star Wars film only if you like requ um, request a Star Wars review. If you if you if you request me to do another Star Wars review, then I will do it. But I I'm done <laughs> for now. I'm right now. I'm done. I'm done with Star Wars. This is my final one, at least for now, until you guys post a comment if you want me to. But it seems like I'm done. So done with Star Wars reviews. I'm done with Star Wars. I I keep repeating myself. Sorry. I'm just it's time to say bye bye to Star Wars. Bye bye. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Post comments down below of what you guys thought of the rise of Skywalker. I think it was bad, okay, good, enjoyable, meh, and etc. etc. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. May the force be with you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Sorry, that was bullying. <laughs>